His Excellency, the Honorable Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Sri Vyas Jagan Mohan Reddy Garu, to my cabinet colleagues, to the Member of Parliament, Rajya Sabha, Sri Ayodhya Ram Reddy Garu, Padma Shri B.V.R. Mohan Reddy Garu, Founder of Science Technologies, to fellow bureaucrats, foreign embassy, foreign embassy officials, the industry leaders' participation, and the association participating in today's event. Let me extend a very warm welcome to all the speakers and the guests from all over the country who have come here to share their knowledge and vast experience. It is my distinct honor and pleasure to host such esteemed guests today at the Vanija Utsavam, the Expo Trade Carnival of Andhra Pradesh, jointly organized by the Department of Industries and Commerce, Andhra Pradesh Economic Development Board, and also the Plastics Export Promotion Council of India and the CII. Reaching far inland from the fertile deltas of the Godavari and the Krishna rivers to the semi-arid Deccan Plateau, Andhra Pradesh has embarked on a journey of consistent growth. The state has been rated as the top state in the country for ease of doing business by the World Bank, offering a robust industry infrastructure, first-class connectivity, and a skilled workforce, making it a globally competitive investment destination. As part of the Azad Ka Amrit Mahotsav, to celebrate and commemorate 75 years of progressive India and the glorious history of its people, culture, and achievements, the Departments of Commerce is organizing the Vanijya Sub from 20th to 26th September 2021, highlighting the role of exports in the economic growth of India. The two events organized by the government of Andhra Pradesh to showcase our exports and our potential during this week would be the Vanijya Utsav, that is today and tomorrow, and an exporters' conclave at the district level by the district industry centers from 24th to 25th, 26th September 2021. Today we have a participation of over 600 manufacturers and exporters in the presence of the Indian missions, officials from the central and the state government and the export councils. The clarion call by the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Atmanirvar Bharat, in one such bright spot to stimulate a self-reliant India and empower an, an ecosystem that will allow Indian companies to completely and compete effectively globally, thereby strengthening our export stature. As nations trace the path of recovery, there is a growing demand for high quality, new products, and a shift away from a reliance on a single source supply chains. There is no time like now when the role of government becomes significant to work hand in hand with the Indian missions, exporters, export councils and the industry associations in ensuring a high quality and a reliability of exports to global markets. In this evolving world, where we are seeing the time between innovation to incubation to production is being cut drastically my thoughts go out to a book written by Adam Grant, Think Again, that in today's world, the power of knowing what you don't know will be the actual driving force that the nations and the leaders should strive for. Which brings me to the lessons we can draw from the growth path, followed by the other countries which grew over time into wealthy nations. If you look at the economic history, the Asian growth, the Asian countries of Japan, South Korea, and Taiwan have grown rapidly on the strength of their exports. For example, it is not out of place to mention that Taiwan, which by area is one-fifth of our state, contributes as much as $330 billion to the world economy, which is greater than the Indian exports. This year, our Honorable Prime Minister has set a target of $400 billion for our exports, and we can clearly see from our Taiwan's example that the potential for this India is much higher. And to realize this potential, right infrastructure and enabling policies are the cornerstones. Our honorable government, led by our dynamic chief minister, Sri Vyas Jagan Mohan Didigaru, has a very strong focus on improving our exports. In fact, he has given us a mandate by 2030 that we double our exports from the present status. So therefore, we are developing an exports led infrastructure with upcoming ports, airports, roads and rail connectivity to the hinterland to drastically reduce the cost of logistics and make our exports scalable. Some of the key takeaways from this event are, this event in its true self 
will act as the curtain raiser to achieve the target of doubling the exports by 2030, where the existing and prospective exporters will see an insight into the state's potential and its intrinsic value to boost export trade. The Andhra Pradesh Experience Center is set up on the theme infrastructure-led industrial development and trade, in which you will experience the development of export-led infrastructure and understand the potential the global opportunities to diversify export, basket and find new markets. You will also be able to participate in insightful panel discussions on policies and interventions taken by our government in collaboration with the Government of India, the Indian and the Foreign Missions and the Export Promotion Councils. Before I conclude, we all also know that the COVID-19 pandemic has disrupted the lives and sent shockwaves through the global economy. People are worried about their lives and livelihoods as companies rebuild and restructure for the next normal. Policymakers across the world are looking for ways to contain the spread of this virus while limiting the economic fallout. And this is a truly global crisis as the virus does not stop at borders. Many of us are hopeful that the nascent signs of recovery that are appearing in some of the economies most severely affected by this economic downturn do not falter and that the world economy can resume a reasonably robust and a stable growth plan. From a collaborative approach undertaken by the government to promote strong linkages while establishing clear policy standards to business re-innovation and re-engineering to cross the metaphorical charge and embark on a journey of explosive growth to expand to new markets. Global cooperation and multilateral coordination is essential to accomplish this target. The government of Andhra Pradesh, under the leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister Sri Vyas Jagan Mohan Redigaru, has the will and you have the power to realize the potential, the true potential of Swarna Andhra Pradesh. Please join us in realizing the potential of the state by harnessing the entrepreneurial spirit and pioneer the new wave of growth. Thank you and Jai Hind.